KSM. Today is June 2nd and it is a day three. Today we are going to talk about some great food, drink, and treat places right here in Manoa. We'll give you some examples after News with Soph. Here are your top stories for today. The With Love Restaurant, which first opened as a teaching restaurant under management of OCC, is finally back. The restaurant taught students who knew how to cook understand the ins and outs of the restaurant business. Every six months, a new student would take over the kitchen and run their own restaurant starting with With Love. Now, the restaurant newly named Syracuse Community Kitchen With Love is focusing on showcasing different cuisines from Syracuse's diverse community. Vendors are able to book a space in the restaurant for as little as one day or they can choose multiple days to span over weeks or months. Colin Townsend, a veteran who advises the vendor, said, It's more free form and fluid, and the number of variations and the type of vendors or clients is virtually unlimited. In British Columbia, Canada, the remains of 215 children who were found buried on the site of what was once Canada's largest indigenous, re indigenous residential school, which held children taken from their families across the nation. From the 19th century until the 1970s, more than 150,000 First Nations children were required to attend state-funded schools to assimilate them into Canadian society. They were forced to converse to Christianity and weren't allowed to speak their native languages. Many were beaten up and ver verbally abused. Up to 6,000 are said to have died. The government apologized to Parliament in 2008 and admitted that the physical and sexual abuse were rampant. Many students were called being beaten for speaking in their native tongue. They also lost touch with their parents and culture. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a mandatory meeting for all students taking AP U.S. History next year on Thursday, June 3rd, in the large cafeteria immediately after school. If you are a virtual student, Mr. Eschbacher will contact you. If you cannot attend or have questions, you can contact Mr. Eschbacher in B23 or email mashbacher at esmschools.org. First on our list is Trappers in Manoa. There are two locations, Trappers 1 and Trappers 2. These are both the place to go if you are looking for some great pizza and other food. We went to Trappers 2 and got fried dough and fries. We definitely recommend checking out both locations for some delicious food. Check them out on their websites at trapperspizza.com and trappers2pizza.com. If you feel like having an evening drink or a nice breakfast, our second activity on the list is the new Spill the Tea Cafe and Infusion Yoga. They offer delicious coffee, treats, and tea. The beans are roasted locally in railway roasters. Also, they offer great intermediate and beginner yoga classes to enjoy. Last on our list is Coneheads. And we'll talk about that after weather. Today will be comfortably warm with a chance of a few showers or a possible storm after 1 or 2 p.m. and highs in the mid to upper 70s. Tonight looks mostly cloudy with some more showers and a low in the low 60s. Tomorrow is going to have some more showers and possibly even a few storms. You can expect some mild temps and a lot of humidity and highs in the mid 70s. Friday is going to be again warm and humid with a few scattered showers and a possible storm or two but drier and warmer than Thursday and highs near 80. Saturday looks even drier and even warmer with some sun and a slight chance of a spotty afternoon shower or two and highs in the upper 80s. Sunday will be hot and humid with a high of around 90 and again that possibility of an isolated shower. And I'm Allie with your weather. With all that nice weather coming up, you're going to be in the mood for some ice cream, so if you're near Lewis Park, you're going to want to check out Coneheads. They offer many choices including hard serve, soft serve, milkshakes, sundaes, frozen yogurt, floats, and many more. When I went, I got one of my personal favorites, a banana split. 
Check them out at 110 Holbert Street in Manoa. Now, on to sports. Somehow pulled out with a win against the Tampa Bay Rays, three to five, as Frazier hit a home run and ran Sanchez in. An upcoming games for ESM: the track team plays at Fulton at 4:30. The wrestling team plays JD at five. The girls varsity softball team plays at Fulton at five, and the boys varsity lacrosse team plays at home against CNS at seven. And Lena with sports. Well, that's our list. We hope you were inspired to go to these amazing places in Manoa. And for me, Katie, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.